prophecy. You never know what could happen. Three footnotes in this chapter. They the footnotes they're shitty. <laughs> um the Baroness's story begins thirty years ago on June fifteenth, eighteen eighty. Uh, the footnotes are really s shitty because finding them is you have to run around to the same places over and over again to check if they appear. Ugh. It was a day which changed everyone's fate. Twelve days before the farewell party special performance. <gasps> what? You want me to take the lead role at the farewell party performance? Please, Mrs. Day, I beg of you. Only you can be on the stage as Margaret, the main role of the opera Faust. I'm begging you, without you, Mrs. Dyer, this performance would be an absolute failure. Please, just think about it. Sir, I'm sorry, but I'm only a chorus member and a liability to the team. There are many other singers in this opera house. Why should I take the main role? Um, it, it's not about your talent, it's more to do with the one who recommended you for the role. He wants you, Miss Day, to take the main role at this special performance. Recommended? Me? Over the others? Y yes, a very important, great person. Am I right, Polygny? Uh, Debian is right, just know that the man who recommended you is of great prestige. I see. I assume he has high expectations for you two and this opera house. And that is exactly why we're here on our knees, Miss Day. Him too, but we desperately wish to retire after successfully hosting this farewell party. Please! Uh, well in that case, yes. I'll take the main role. I hope I don't ruin the performance for you two. Thank you, Miss Dye. Thank you. I owe you my deepest gratitude. You'll be great on stage. Is it really okay for me to take this role? But it's not possible to turn them down when they seem so desperate. But who could it be? They are so reluctant to tell me. Wow, what's going on over there? What's going on? All right, for now, I'll look for some footnotes. I <laughs> see you later. <laughs> hey, kitty cat. You sense the color of the next door. And they disappeared. In the app game, those cats give you some extra ads. You can usually watch three ads uh, per day. And if you find a cat, you can watch another ad that gives you 80 coins instead of just i think 50 or something so yeah faust did the opera um is this here? No. Okay. the opera was composed by charles gonu gono based on michel carré's adaptation of the first part of johann wolfgang von goethe's play so it's like an adaptation of an adaptation. <laughs> the first performance of Faust took place in 1859. It was a great commercial success at the time. Set in 16th century Germany, the opera tells the tale of Faust, or Faust in uh, English, I guess, a man seduced by Mephistopheles and granted youth. Faust then seduces a young maiden by the name of Marguerite, only to abandon her later. Yeah, he's he's a dick. <clears throat> literature, bleh, literature enthusiasts have criticized the opera on the grounds that borrows only some portions of the original work and fails to fully honor the themes of the original. But is it quite so necessary for an adaptation to stay so utterly true to the original work? The audience are probably able to empathize better with the opera's moving music than with the suffering and development of Faust as, uh, as depicted in the play. It may even be that Gounod's opera helped people feel psychologically closer to Faust here than in the play. Is, 
Ich meine, wir haben gerade so ein Happy Pupsa. Ich glaube, ich höre Faust hier. Dann ich mein It's a Korean game, so I think there are some spelling mistakes here and there. <laughs> uh, the Opera Faust. I love that story. The f story of Faust is really great. <laughs> if you don't know it, you should definitely check it out. Mr. Bouquet, please stop saying such things. What if someone... something bad really happens? Oh my, I'm saying people need to listen to me. I told you, I saw it with my own eyes. Christine, just in time. Can you please try and stop Mr. Bouquet? He won't listen to me. Me? Hmm. Is something wrong with Mr. Bouquet? Did they fight each other? I want to go home, same. He's talking more about the Phantom than the stage directing. Such a stupid man, a stubborn man. Ah, Mr. Bouquet. He's been doing that for days. I don't feel like working today. <laughs> I don't like this feeling. For 30 years. Yeah, that's a, that's a bit funny here. The farewell party will soon begin. Oh no, they don't have it in the Steam version. Oh, that's sad. In the Steam version, if you click on here, this will, uh, this is the other game of Matsum, the company, I don't know, the studio that made this game. And this is uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. I also want to play that game, it's real fun. And when you click on there, it opens up big on screen and it's like, hey, download this game on the App Store. And it works the same way as this one. You also, uh, if you play it for free, you can watch ads to gain coins and yada yada yada. Joseph Bouquet. This is about a fictional character. When Joseph Bouquet saw a play as a boy, he decided that when he grew up, he'd build stages for actors to shine on. Although he had been trained at the famous art school, Bouquet believed that in order to learn how to do something right, it's best to start from the bottom. So he began his career at the Opera House as a stagehand in 1871. Eventually, he was recognized for his artistic taste and promoted to stage manager in 1877. Joseph Bouquet died at a young age of 43 in June 1880. May he rest in peace. His acquaintances at the theater said that he was a serious yet kind man who loved his family more than anything else in the world. Well then, let's go to talk. Let's go talk with this Mr. Bouquet. Oh, the fight. There we go. Hello, Mr. Bouquet. Good morning, Christine. What is going on? Uh, Mr. Bouquet won't stop talking about the Phantom of the Opera? Like, hello! <laughs> what if the Phantom retaliates? He even says he saw it himself. Mr. Bouquet seen the Phantom of the Opera? Really? Yes. It happened just yesterday. I was in the basement inspecting the stage settings. Then... The phantom appeared before me, with his black cape fluttering. So I wielded my hammer. Stop! Enough with the phantom story. What if the phantom shows up because of you? Speak of the devil and it might actually appear. Well, don't you think that's why we need to find out about the phantom? Everyone knows about the phantom of the opera, but I'm the one who's actually seen him. Hey, Joseph. Aren't you worried your distraction might ruin the performance? 
nonsense. If any of you had seen the Phantom yourself, you wouldn't dare talk to me this way. Right. You're sure it wasn't just a bad dream? You've been working late these days for the well farewell party, you know. You'll see. I'll prove that I've seen the Phantom. Y'all think I'm talking gibberish. In the end, you'll know that I was right. Christine, you also think I'm talking nonsense? Um, honestly, it's disturbing, but... Yeah, I was a fool to believe someone would listen. I must try to find the evidence. Oh, oh Mr. Bouquet. Hmm. There were parties coming up. Is it okay if he's distracted like this? I'm not one to say. I need to pull all my effort into practicing for this performance. I also need to ask for his permission. His permission? Hmm. Then came the day of June 27th, 1880. It was the day of the farewell party to celebrate the retirement of the joint managers Debienne and Poligny. At the Opera House, the final rehearsal for the special performance was happening on stage. <sighs> I must hurry or I'll be late for rehearsal. I must turn and get to the rehearsal. Oops. It's been closed down. I will look for footnotes before that, so <laughs> see ya. All right, let's go to the stage. Whew. Right on time, Christine. The second act was just about to begin. This special performance can't go on without Margaret. I'm so sorry I'm late. It won't happen again. All right then, everyone to their positions. I always forget what kind of voice I give Christine. <laughs> Has anyone seen Mr. Bouquet? Why are you looking for Mr. Bouquet here? We are rehearsing right now. I need his input, but I can't find him anywhere. Perhaps he went out looking for the Phantom. He's been doing that for weeks now. On the day of the farewell party? Not likely. Maybe he fell sick. I agree. Mr. Bouquet is not so irresponsible. I really don't remember that noise. We're running out of time, so let's get it done with Mr. McClure. Hmm. Fine, I guess that works. Everyone, if you see Mr. Bouquet, please tell him we are looking for him. Well, he's somewhere down there and dead. Maybe not yet, but soon. Should Mr. Bouquet be searching for the Phantom on such an important day? Something's not right. Well, it looks like the performance will be fine, so let's continue the rehearsal for the special performance. Yes, I need to focus on what I should do right now. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Everyone gather around, let's take a short break. Need to talk to Mr. Fonta. I need to make an announcement. First of all, I must truly thank Christine Dave who's filling in for Carlotta. I had no idea Miss Day could sing so beautifully. I agree, the choir director used to complain about Christine's singing. That she couldn't hit the high notes or enunciate. Enunci enunciate, that's what. <clears throat> thank you so much, but I still have a long way to go. I wish I had more time to practice. Not at all, you were amazing. The special performance will be a huge success. <laughs> Yay! Well then, shall we go again? Everyone to their positions. I'm so nervous. <laughs> I forgot which scene is coming up next. I should ask Mr. Fonta. I should hurry up and ask him. I'll do my best today as well. I have some water before the room. Not, no one's... Not nervous today. Let's cheer up and sing. I will go look for footnotes.
Turns out I can't look for footnotes. I'm stuck here. Ah, so stay, believe in yourself. It won't shake during the performance, right? <clears throat> Pardon me, Mr. Fonta. Which scene is this? Ah, do you remember the duet in the third act? We'll take it from there. Thank you. This music, it's beautiful, but also gives me the creeps. Where is this coming from? Isn't this a funeral march? Funeral march? This is definitely a funeral march. What? A funeral march? Uh, I didn't notice at first, but she's right. Why is a funeral march playing? Is there a funeral? Did someone die? Wait a minute. This is the sound of a pipe organ, right? In our opera house, there is no pipe organ. What is going on? Mr. Font, is it safe to continue the rehearsal? What should we do? <clears throat> Just to be safe, let's stop the rehearsal. Everyone, you're dismissed. Hurry! Scatter! <laughs> a song for the dead on the day of celebration. This funeral march, I have a bad feeling. I should return to my dressing room. I can still hear the funeral march. <gasps> oh, it finally stopped. Wait, did I leave the door open? <sighs> the girls are here already. <laughs> Christine, what took you so long? Christine! <laughs> yes, a little chat with the girls will help me forget about what just happened. Talking with my friends calms me. <laughs> there was a cute kitten with a black mole on its nose. When I became a model, the clothes I had to wear were uncomfortable because of all the bugs. Okay. Father. She's smiling, but she seems lonely. Who are they? What should I wear? I'll just wear this. A great mirror. My songs. These flowers are artificial. He looks sad. 